with the uh, general fund portion of that being 51,769,410, and with the millage remaining at 3.2925 mills. And uh, your motion would be to approve a resolution establishing that millage rate for 2020s, formal way that the budget is adopted for 2020s. I can answer any questions on it, or if you'd like me to recap anything uh, that was originally presented 20 days ago. I'm sorry, may I ask what the millage is again? Uh, 3.2925. Okay, thank you. I'll make a motion to establish the millage rate at 3.2925. Yeah. And, and uh, a resolution to that effect okay. to accept the, the budget. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We've had a pretty thorough, air, thorough airing of it uh, with no changes. So if there is nothing, anything, Mary Louise? Yeah. Good. Um, all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, so moved. Okay. And that's all I have for this meeting. Uh, we have an re annual retirement board meeting to be held by okay. Controller Metley. So we seek a motion to adjourn this one. Uh, you could do that after. We'll just okay. fit this one in and then you'll have an adjournment at the end. If any of the commissioners, do you have comments on the budget? The fact that the millage is remain the same, not increasing or anything? It's an answer to my prayers. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's nice. I just <laughs> simply say it's a good year when you don't have to raise taxes. Yeah. Can't argue with that. All right. Bob Medley County Controller here for the purpose of the annual uh, retirement board meeting and making some motions to take actions for next year. Um, first motion is to approve the minutes of the December 27th, 2018 annual retirement board meeting as was included in your packet. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept the uh, annual meeting minutes from December 27th of 18. Any question, comment, additions, deletions? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, so moved. The next motion would be to approve the minutes of the various meetings during the year February 21st, May 2nd, July 3rd, August 15th, and November 21st retirement board meetings. So I'll make a motion to accept the minutes from the meetings as presented. Second. Motion and a second to accept the 2019 minutes. Uh, meeting minutes. Any questions or comments? Not all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, so moved. The next item of business is a motion to approve the interest rate payable in 2020 on members' contributions. The rate for 2019 was 4.5%, and I recommend we stay at the 4.5%. I make a motion to re retain the same interest rate at four and a half percent. Second. Motion and a second presented. Any question or comment? Any comment, Robert? No. No comment. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, so moved. Next motion would be to approve the class for the retirement system in 2020. The current class is 180th, and I recommend we stay at the 180th and we'll move as such. I make a motion that we uh, maintain the 180th class. Second. Motion and a second on the floor to maintain the 180th class. Any question or comment? Not all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Post the same sign, so move. Then a motion to have Corn Ferry Hay Benefits prepare the Green Bar Pension Statements for the re employees for 2020 at the cost of $1.80 per statement, which is the same cost we've been paying the past 10 years. I'll make a motion to uh, rehire Corn Ferry Hay to prepare the pension statements. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we uh, give the award to uh, Corn Ferry to do the statements. Any question or comment? 
And then all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, so moved. The next order of business is under the new county pension law. We must at least review and consider cost of living once every three years, and this would be the year. Um, if we awarded it, it would be 2.3% at a cost of $1,776,440 to the retirement fund and would also increase the annual, um, our annual contribution by 679000 a year for the years 2020 through 2024. Okay, with that uh, all being said, is there a motion either way? I, do we need a motion if we don't change it? No, no. no. We just, the, the, the act just says we must consider it, okay. and by us discussing it and not taking any action would qualify. Well, personally, as much as you would like to do that, I don't think, in my opinion, I could support at this time any COLA because of several reasons, and um, one is we're not 100% funded, and I'd rather see stability in the entire pension fund than increase it and have to increase future uh, payments and not know what obligations we have and how much taxes we'd have to raise and that sort of thing. So I, I think it would be uh, fiscally prudent to leave it where it is. I agree, plus right now the market's going well. If the market doesn't go well, once we commit this, it doesn't matter what the market does, it doesn't change. And it's quite, so. The next motion then would be to approve the refunds we paid to former employees in 2019. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded that we approve the refunds. Questions? If not, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Opposed, same sign, so moved. Next motion would be to acknowledge the death benefits of former, of, of members who died in 2019 and those death benefits paid to their uh, survivors. I'll make a motion to pay the death benefits to survivors or estates. Or beneficiaries. Or beneficiaries, yes. I'll second that. Okay. It's been moved and seconded that we approve the death benefits. Any questions? If not, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, so moved. And the, last, and the next motion would be to approve the pensions paid to employees who retired in 2019. Seek a motion? I'll make a motion for that. Sally, thank you. I'll second it. Okay, we have a motion and a second to um, approve the retired uh, members' the pension benefits paid. Payment, yes. Payments. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, so moved. Before I have a, the next motion to adjourn the meeting, just two quick notes. Um, there's a possibility of a new mortality table coming out next year. Um, there's been talk about it. What it will be is it'll be different than what we've had in the past. Um, it'll be basically geared toward governmental employees. It's not, we wouldn't be like in the general public like it is before. Corn Ferry and the actual Society of Actuaries has now done a study and they're coming out to um, do mortality tables basically geared on governmental employees. So what effect that will have, I don't know. My gut feeling is that effect will be that employees are working longer and living longer. That's what that's going to show us, which will probably increase the annual contribution at some right. point in time. No. Um, they've been talking about it for two years, and my understanding is it is to be come out sometime in 2020 for review and recommendations. Mm. The only other thing I have is when Jamie gets me dates, um, there are two companies that have software, providing software for uh, pensions, county pensions in Pennsylvania, and I would like to, I'd ask Jamie to give me a date or dates possible in January for to have both companies come in that we can review as a board 
what their product is and select. Um, there's a company out of Massachusetts and a company out of Illinois. What so, do you use now, Bob? What's that? What do you use now? In-house written program by Andy Silberman. Okay. <laughs> That's why we're looking to change. It's part of his legacy. And, um, <laughs> and, and you know, as part of the move that in as we go forward in, 20, in 2020, by the end of 2020, we'll have new software in, for our department. We're migrating off the i5. This is part of it, too. Mm -hmm. This will be, this, this would be, um, and both of these companies work with, we either can either work off of servers here, or we can work off of basically the cloud, you know, they hold it hosted. So um, they're both reputable companies. And, um, so they're not new. They they have proven software that the bugs are worked out. Um, one yes, the other one I could say no. Okay. Um, the one company is proven record that they've been working with uh, governmental pensions since 1989. The one in Illinois, the one in Massachusetts. <coughs> just by way of background, this I've been working with for two years. Um, I reached out to them. But we were looking, and in the two years, they have a product, but their product still hasn't gotten a payroll piece yet, which is what we need. Um, they keep telling us they're going to have it. So, but currently, uh, two counties have have selected that one, but neither of those counties need the payroll piece. Um, Franklin County just selected the other one because they need the payroll piece, just like us. Sounds like it might be an easy decision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm, for the, uh, I know, but for <laughs> review purposes, I yes. think we should see them both. Well, that. And the difference, is, the difference is going to be, the, obviously, the one that has the payroll piece in is going to be a little more expensive. But we're still not talking more than 300000 for the whole program. So, and that would all be, and that would all be pension. Is it in your budget? Oh, it's, no, it oh, all it's come in out the pension. pension. Okay. It's a pension administrative that's, that's, cost. I'm, Legitimate expense no, it's paid because it's a pension fund. Yes, yes. Right. but I just but as a board, I would Still like money. us to see what what what's there and understand what why I make a recommendation. If you have an idea of how much time each entity would need to, to I'd give them an hour. I don't think we want to give them more than that. I guess what we each an hour a, or together each an hour. An hour. So we could set up uh, just an afternoon, Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday do that. Yeah, yeah, that's what my so I guess I can make it too. The obvious question is, if they don't have a payroll piece, well, they, they keep saying at? they're going to display it for us. So, oh, but so I haven't might. seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet in the last ones. Wow. But I think just out of out of courtesy to the fact that they are ones and several counties have picked them, we should. Mm -hmm. but, but the other counties didn't need the payroll piece. Yes, it does. And, and you will see there's a vast difference between If the indeed they do not come forward with that, I don't want to waste their time or ours. <laughs> no, I don't either. Okay. I don't either. So they've, they've indicated they will be presenting yes. a payroll piece. They've indicated they're in the process, but we have not seen it yet. I have not seen it. Okay, well then when, when you schedule them. Yes, I'm going to ask them. I'm sure that's I need that it. piece. And if they don't have it. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they're going to have to travel too. Yeah. Other than that, the next motion is a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. Stand adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. That was retirement board. That was retirement board. Okay. You want so, another? Uh, unless there's anything more uh, to come before you. I don't have any. Yes, for the good. I don't think so. Make a motion to adjourn the board of commissioners. I'll second the motion. All right. We stand adjourned. Thank you. That was fun. Mm -hmm.